right. We're live. Just getting all my getting all my screens all good to go here. All right. Going live with a little uh, virtual pro wrestling too. Uh, for those that uh, for those that might not know this uh, this game, I'm gonna let the whole intro play here because it is awesome seeing like Kawada and, and you know Tawe and I mean so many so many awesome names in there <laughs> and Johnny Ace I suppose. Ugh. Um, but uh, this game this game actually came between the WCW and WWF games on the N64, the THQ, uh, Aki, AKI, however you want to pronounce that, uh, those companies. Oh uh, yeah, Vader in there, love to see that. Hanson, ah, uh, yeah. Um, but this game actually came between those. It was a Japanese release, obviously on the same engine. If you've ever played any of the N64 wrestling games, this is looking way familiar to you. And uh, it's a game that wasn't released in the American market. Um, so if you had an N64 back in the day and you managed to get your hands on the cartridge to this, it literally wouldn't have fit into your system. They have, it's like a little like nub that got in the way. Um, it all would have been in Japanese anyhow, which would have made it very complicated for you, um, but not impossible to play. Um, the version I have is like 99% translated. It's uh, you know, a really great little ROM that I uh, downloaded. And uh, yeah, this is just so cool. I got to shout out Johnny Torres for finding this ROM and hooking me up. Uh, yeah, I'm so, so psyched to be able to play this having been to Japan just earlier this year. Uh, there's a lot of this that even in modern day Japan doesn't feel that different. You know, the, the it being currently 24 years since this game came out, which is crazy to think about. Um, yeah, this game uh, this game was released right before WrestleMania 2000. It was released in January of the year 2000. A few months later, the WWF version came out. And if you're listening to that music, it will sound very familiar as they had the same menu music in the two games. So, and if, if uh, a lot of the, the, what you're seeing here for the menus and everything looks familiar, that'll be why. So, uh, yeah, uh, the gameplay is all the same and everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to find us a, uh, a quick battle royal to maybe play through just so I can scan through the roster, kind of show who's in here real quick. Let's see, there we go. Battle royal, easy enough. Oh, and I love this. Look at the look at the venues available. We got the Nippon Budokan, the Tokyo Dome, Korokin Hall, and Kawasaki Stadium. How awesome is that? Um, for right now, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put us in uh, the Korokin. Just uh, just you know, no no reason. Just figure why not. I'll be the only uh, the only human. We're gonna say non-title match because there's no belts that I can choose from. Uh, we're gonna call it random and I'm not gonna put that many wrestlers in here because we're just we're just kicking things off Let's call it 20 20 seems like a pretty good way to start things here And uh, yeah, let's get a look at this uh, this roster. It starts with all Japan. We got Baba Misawa Ogawa who I actually just saw wrestle for Noah while I was in Japan Karahara Kobashi oh, let's, let's get let's, uh I'm already jumping all over and you can see some of the companies in here. All right, I'm gonna go back to Kobashi. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I can spin around. Look at that. And does he have alternate costumes? Uh, just orange, orange, red. And then his uh, his ringside attendant outfit. Ah, so cool. And it's goatee Kobashi and then no goatee Kobashi. <laughs> uh, we got Akiyama. Uh, Akiyama, who of course now is a uh, bald, having a, having appeared on AEW not long ago. Oh man, this is just okay. Now we got we got Kawada. Let's, yeah, look at him. We got Tawe. Man, this is oh a young a young Takiyama before he was bleaching his hair. I might have to make one of his alternate costumes have the bleached hair. Yeah, the t-shirt, there's his entrance gear. Love Takiyama. Hiroshi Hase, ah. 
classic. Oh, and the green too. Wow. All right. Man, just a, an incredible lineup. All right, now we're getting into some of the Gaijins. I guess we got we got Big Van Vader in the house. Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. Classic. Oh, with the mask coming off. Oh, love that. We got Hanson. What are his alternate costumes? Uh, just slight variants on the same idea. Ugh, less said about Johnny Ace, the better. Mike Mike Barton. Mike Barton. That's not Bart Gunn, is it? That is. That's Bart Gunn. <laughs> you got him in the uh, the brawl for all with the gloves. Ah, amazing. Gary Albright. Big Gare Bear. The Suplex King. My favorite member of the Samoan Dynasty. Johnny Smith. We got Giant Kimala. Aw, oh, look at looking more like the Sugar Bear days in some of these. Ah, oh, love to see it. Ah, oh, so cool. If you can't tell, I haven't actually dug into this game that much to prepare for this, which is nice because you're getting my like very genuine reaction to all of this. Hashimoto, gotta love Hashimoto. Tatsumi Fujinami, who is still a very active uh, over in Japan, wrestles for Kyushu Pro. I'm wearing my, my Kyushu Pro shirt uh, today, but wrestles for Kyushu Pro every so often. We got uh, we got Kensuke. I'm not entirely sure what this attire and head look are for Kensuke, but that's fine. And look at uh, Manubu Nakanishi. Again, some of these, some of, yeah, this is Nagata. I don't know about that as Nagata. I think uh, they got a little lazy with some of the looks on these. All right, now we're into another section of New Japan here. We got Chono. Where's the sunglasses? You gonna put sunglasses? Yeah, there he is. Kaiji Mudo. Again, not not totally sold on the looks of some of these. Some of these might need a little help. Tenzan again, not. I do believe some of this was put together pretty quickly as they were still, they, they had already landed the WWF contract, I believe. Kojima, Kojima, there he is. Current MLW champion there. Saido. Scott Norton. Again, yeah, uh, not not a great Scott Norton. <laughs> Looks more like uh, Albert there. All right, and let's see. How'd they do for Liger? Hmm. Yeah, not sure about that Liger either. Not not really. El Samurai and Liger looking a little bit more alike than I recall them looking. Dr. Wagner Jr. We saw El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. Uh, wrestle for Noah. I believe he's the current Noah champion unless the belts change hands again. Shinji Hiro Otani. Yeah. Not, again, not sure about some of these looks. Kenny Moto. Very cool. Not again. I don't think they nailed it. Hayabusa, how'd they do for him? Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Masato Tanaka, they got him in uh, some ECW looking clothes for the most part there. But again, the head, I'm not not so sure. Not sold on it. Mr. Kanosuke. Jado and Gato. Looking like they're in the brood a little bit. <laughs> Gladiator, we got my big Mike Awesome. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, so sick. Ah, uh, Tenru. I could have worn my Tenru shirt today. All right, now we're at Michinoku Pro. We got Sasuke. Again, I'm not totally sold on some of the work they've done here creating these. Dave the Monster Truck Nerd, welcome, my friend. Jinsei Shinzaki. Uh, oh, uh, I always forget what his name was in WWE. When he had the tattoos all over me, wrestled Brett Hart. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna blank on that. Taka, yeah, I'm not not totally sold on the looks of this Taka. I think they still were trying to master him before the WWF game. We got aw oh, Super Delphin. It's, you know, it could be worse likeness there. Magnum Tokyo, uh, Dragon Kid, who's about to be, uh, I believe, at ETU. Uh, Wrestling Marcus Mathers, if I if I recall correctly. Uh, what are, I mean, just a fantastic Vulcan. <laughs> Pan craze, yeah, that's right. There's some shoot style matches in here. So we got we got a young Suzuki in this game. Love that. Yep. 
some pride fighters from back in the day. Battle arts is in the game. Again, I I haven't I haven't dove into this prior to prior to getting and then we got space for some originals. All right. So, let's see. I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be Masawa and I'm going to let random pick the rest for here. Ooh, we got Sasuke. Let's see who it gives us next. Jinsei Shinzaki. And the next random, it's going to give us their weird version of Yuji Nagata. I still don't know what they were going for with this look here. That's fine. So ring out, you lose. We got submission pin, TKO, all on. Bloodshed, no. Uh, I say bloodshed, yes. Because, you know, late 90s Japan, they certainly weren't afraid to bleed. So let's do it up. Let's do it up proper. All right, here we go. Let's see if they give us some entrances here. Looks like we got backstage view of their weird version of Yuji Nagata here. I love that they start in the locker room like you would see in the uh, the clips from Japan around this time. All the entrances started in the locker room. Okay, looks like they we got some sort of generic entrance music for a lot of these guys. Jinsei Shinzaki, which, who again, does not exactly look the way I much recall him looking. Thanks. Yeah, same music again. Kind of weird, a little strange. All right, and we got Sasuke, who again, they've not really nailed here. I bet his moveset's pretty good. That's sort of what I understand is like the big thing about this game is it's like the re the, the, the move sets are really great and uh, the, the movements of the characters feel really right. The looks are... Masawa's music, he has his own music. Look at, look at him in all his glory. The Japanese intros, man. Yeah, some of some of the voiceovers in here don't sound too complete either. That one's spot on. Seems like Alright, let's see. Let's see how we how we get on here. So I got my strike ready to go. Oh. Okay, guys, let's lighten up. Oh, God. oh, now they're double teaming me. Jeez, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble already. All right, let's get it back together here. Focus up, Misawa. What, what difficulty setting do I have it on? These guys are not messing around. Someone eliminate him. Jeez. Yeah, I wonder. I, I didn't look at difficulty setting, and I'm. Not, I know uh, certainly when I played the WCW game, I did not run into this uh, this level of difficulty. There you go. You want to be difficult? I can be difficult. Ooh, Nagata putting me in the corner and laying into me here. Okay, that, 
that's how I change who I'm focused on. Good. All right, see you later. There we go. First elimination. Now we're talking. Next. Oh, Baba coming from out of nowhere, it appears. What a w that That's a weird... <laughs> the graphics on that were strange. Boy, they really nailed how strange Baba looks. Uh-oh. I do not want to be on Baba's bad side. But apparently I'm not being given a choice in the matter. music in this game kills. This is great. Really good. Oh, someone's about to get their special off. See ya. Apparently it was Nagata that was about to get his special off, and I, uh, I chucked him right out of there. Alright, Hiroshi has... We are getting an all-star all-star. I mean, they're starting off with all the heavy hitters here. Oh, and I'm about to be eliminated. Well, that's that's all she wrote for uh, for Perry as Misawa. Oh, look, we got uh, we got some some stuff in Japanese here. Let's see, will this let me quit? Nope, that's not it. I'm guessing maybe this is quit. Yeah, there it is. I had to guess because. Regardless of having wrestled in Japan, I... Oh, no, that was restart, I guess. I don't want to restart, I want to quit. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's got to be the one. We're figuring this out as we go, folks. The partially translated game. Royal Road Secession Tournament League. Let's, uh, let's try a tournament out and see how we, how we do single match tournament let's uh should we do let's do the two are you playing this on your pc i am i am playing this on my pc all right let's uh let's give this a shot at the uh the tokyo dome i'd love to have it be for a belt but there's no belts made and everything's in another language uh so maybe not for a belt <laughs> number of players I mean I assume they're talking about competitors not players so let's say 10 and uh, let's see who I'm, I'm gonna be Kobashi and I'm gonna be a no goatee Kobashi and then we're just gonna let everybody else be random or you know what let's uh, let's try to make it exciting let's uh, let's make one Liger Boy, they really did not nail Liger's appearance in any way on here. All right, let's see. We'll, we'll pick a few from each thing. Ooh, yeah, let's put Hanson in there. While we're at it, ah, no, no, we won't put Vader in because he might get eliminated and that'd break my heart. Kawada, let's put in... We'll put Baba in there. We'll put Misawa in there. And let's, uh... Let's see, Michinoku Pro. Let's go ahead and let's put, uh... Super Delph in. How's Dragon Kid look? Yeah, they didn't really nail him. Uh, that'll have to be good enough. Alright, we're up to eight. We got two more. Oh yeah, big, big time. We're putting we're putting uh, putting Mike Awesome in there. Absolutely. And while we're at it, for if it's FMW, you gotta put Hayabusa in there. Okay, that'll be human, and everything else will be CPU. All right. Format wrestling. Yeah, good. Ring out? No. Yeah, ring out, let's say... Let's go Classic Japan and say 20 count. Submission, yeah. Bloodshed, yeah. I think we've shed some blood if it comes up. Interference, yeah, sure, why not? Let's see if they send someone on down, huh? Time limit, 30 pin, yes. TKO, I think we, we, can, we can allow TKOs as well. 
Right, decision. All right, let's play this. Let's see. Let's see how we get on. See if uh, see if I can make a burning hammer happen here. Again, I, I never bothered checking the difficulty setting here, and I wonder if uh, maybe it's just set too hard and I'm not great at it, because I tend to not be great at video games. <laughs> Oh, love the big fight feel. Being accompanied to the ring by I can't, I can't tell who that is because so many of the character designs are not not great. Oh, it's time! It's Grand Sword, baby. One of the greatest wrestling themes of all time. Man, when we would ride around with uh, Chikazan, uh, the owner of Kyushu Pro, whenever he would drive us anywhere, first thing he would do in the van is put on Grand Sword because he knew, he knew me and Rip are big, uh, big Kobashi fans, and man, we would just jam out to that in the car. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's chop time, baby. It's Kobashi. It's chop o'clock. We're taking it on outside, man. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, gourd buster. Half and half, let's go. <laughs> he shouts when he does his, his taunt, I love it. Float over. Oh, goes for that flying tackle. I've been known to hit that once in a while. Yeah, how you like me now? Big reversal. I got there. I got there. Uh, learning the reversals has not been an easy uh, task for me in this game. I was great at them back in back in the early 2000s when I was playing these games, but now it's a lost art in my brain. Oh, really? You're gonna chop Kobashi? Well, that's just got me all fired up now. Better run. Hear it? Oh, sleeper suplexes is behind. Oh, man. So how does he hit the uh, burning hammer then if it's not from behind? Is it from the front? I guess we're going to find out because I'm not finishing this match until I've hit a burning hammer. I'm here for the big fight feel, and nothing said big fight in the early 2000s, the late 90s in Japan, like Kobashi breaking out the burning hammer. 
Most people don't realize how, how rare it was that he actually hit that. I believe he only ever did it eight times or something like that. If, if Rip was here, he would know the exact number. Uh oh. Yeah. All right, we're in business now. We got the reversals happening. All right, let's see about this. The front special is okay. Maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's his corner special. That's a buckle bomb. Yeah, where's the burning hammer come from then? I wonder. Tie him up, see if he just gives up, I guess. I'll let him out of that. Not done toying with him yet. Is that cord buster again? Alright. Still kind of learning all his moves at this point. Oh no, they made me bleed. Well, now I'm mad. He just poked me in the eye, this bastard. Five minutes gone. Oh, going for that moonsault. Yeah, time to get up, loser. It is still the sleeper suplex from there. One more burning lariat. Oh, that might be the knockout. Oh, not quite. He's still alive. Big pump handle. Oh, that's into a pin. If that if that does it, that does it. I'm not fighting for it. There it is. All right, we're gonna have to figure out how this burning hammer works because I know it's in here. That that song's so good. replay great song got to move on because we gotta we gotta find the burning hammer here I'm not not totally sure how I get it but we're gonna make it happen oh, I didn't say, it said something interesting there that I totally missed all right so I have the choice to watch Hansen versus Kawada or skip and I'm not gonna watch the computer play games here we're just going to assume that these matches were great because look at them. They look like they'd be great. Masawa, Super Delphin. you got to assume Masawa goes up, right? Dragon Kid, Mike Awesome. My money's on Mike Awesome. Well, Dragon Kid shows what I know. All right, now i got to buy in that round. we got Stan Hansen versus Giant Baba. Man, you talk about two good friends. Thinking about going AEW at the Garden tomorrow night. Not 100% sure yet. I mean, it, it looks like it'll be a great show. I mean, if there's still tickets available and you've got the time and the money, um, I uh, I will probably be uh, keeping an eye on it online and seeing what happens because it should be a good show. The lineup looks really good. Dragon Kid Hayabusa. I mean, for my money, it's Hayabusa, but who knows? Yeah, there we go. All right, Kobashi versus Baba. This is why we play a Japanese wrestling game. Let's get those sick entrances. Man, I love I had sick music.
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Man, he really, he's, the whole, the whole building shake, and I think it's from the audience cheering for him. What an entrance theme. Look at that robe. Oh, speaking of great, I'm, we're going to hear it a few times because it's a tournament and I'm playing as Kobashi, but man, Grand Sword is an amazing theme. Man, the first time I heard my name uh, announced by a Japanese ring announcer was so sick. It was just such a cool feeling. They've really done a great job at capturing how strange Baba looked. Like, he has this sort of like Andre the Giant crossed with E.T. kind of thing going on. Ah, that goofy Baba chop. Just gonna. Oh no! Yeah, see that? Went to the well one too many times. that's exactly the uh, the first bump that happened in uh, the Samoa Joe Kenta Kobashi match. Power slam. Flying tackle. I'm telling you, my goal here is a burning hammer, but I'm still not totally sure how to hit it. Oh, I wonder if it's from behind in the corner. I bet it is. Take a lariat then if you're not gonna not gonna make my job easy. No 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 you don't get off that easy. Alright, let's see, is this it? No. Uh, not yet. I lost the special, so I'm just trying stuff out at this point. I'm glad to see that I can put them up uh, from a reverse position in the corner. Yeah, it looks like it's all sort of the same. All right, we're getting there. We're gonna figure this out because I know, I know it's it's in there. It's in the opening animation. 
Oh no! What was I thinking? Allowing run-ins. We got Vader coming in. Oh, there's my backup to come help. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, did not want that slam. Thank you. All right, Vader. Take that. That buckle bomb. One of the one of the earliest wrestlers I think to ever do a buckle bomb. I don't recall a lot of a lot of uh, buckle bombs prior to Kobashi doing it. like that's not it either. How do I hit the burning hammer? This is going to drive me nuts, you guys. Who saw... me about the time. They're giving They're waving the pencil. Hey, don't you don't you fire back at me. Oh my god, classic Baba moves here. Aha, too slow. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. That one chop he does is always the thing I do when someone asks me to imitate Baba. I throw, I throw a chop that looks vaguely like his. I wonder if he's in the corner and I do a little light one. It's got to do the little multi-chop thing, right? Suplex again. Still not what I'm looking for. Mm. Yeah, it really doesn't. I, I, I just I can't figure out how to do a burning hammer to him. It's gonna drive me crazy. Just had to end that one out of frustration. Yeah, it's not even going to show the bump on the replay. Having a rough playthrough here. I mean, great music, though. All right, moving on. All right, what do we think? Uh, Masawa, Hayabusa, am I... My money's on Masawa going up. Wow, Hayabusa goes over. All right, so it's a Kobashi Hayabusa finals. Let's do it. Yeah, it feels like the vast majority of the characters in this game all got that sort of generic music uh, together. Not really sure what that's all about. Let's see, does he jump over the top of Asia? Nope, just climbs in. Yeah, they didn't really customize him much at all. I'm gonna skip Kobashi, we've seen it. I'm not gonna listen to him announce the wrong name. Dang, hip toss. 
Big flying tackle. Door slam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's dive into his moveset a little bit, see what we can find here. Oh, oh, looks like he was going for a DDT, but Hayabusa wasn't having it. Oh, okay, now he's, now he's moving a little like Hayabusa. Really doesn't look like him now. Oh, stalling vertical. I love doing these, too. Oh. Headlock takeover. All right, yeah, we're we're getting to know getting to know his uh, his moves here a little. Uh oh, uh -oh. that's not what we wanted. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't you, don't you, aha! Ducked out of the way. How you like that? Hey, come on outside. Let's play. Oh yeah, that's some Kobashi stuff there. Whoa. He'll make it back in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, machine gun chops. Let's go. Burning Larry at. See, what's his distance on his moon salt? Ah, not quite enough. That would have been a great combo to finish the match. The burning lariat and the moon salt. That's alright. We can get him we can get him on this next one. We got time. This is the finals of the tournament, so uh oh. Uh oh, here comes Takiyama. I don't think he's coming out to help me. Oh jeez. Takiyama, another wrestler I absolutely adore. I've been told that in a lot of ways I resemble Takayama. Um, I try to take that as a compliment. You know, it really is amazing how as time goes on, I start to notice that the wrestlers uh, I really look up to, and like even like the wrestlers other wrestlers look up to, how much we really do take from their movesets. Like I do a buckle bomb every now and again. You know, there's a lot of moves I've seen Kobashi do here that I absolutely do, and then like stuff I saw Baba do that I do, and you know, it's it's entirely just that's that's who we look up to. You know, I mean, uh, Rip for a while was using a burning hammer as a finish. Uh, he now does throw a moon salt like Kobashi. Uh oh, uh oh. That's not what you want. No running Lariat in uh, Kobashi's moveset here as far as I can tell. Chunk him in the face. Ooh, that was close. I almost ate that one. Yeah, even the leg drop. I do a leg drop just like Kobashi. Yeah, 
And then with the uh, the old Goldbergs here. The Goldbergs, the Brock Lesnar's, both guys were known to do that when they would get lost in a match. They just sit you in the corner and go at you with the gut. little tribute to Baba there. All right. Let's hit one of these. I'm gonna try them again and see, is there an alternate version from back here? Nope, that just puts them on my shoulders, which is not helpful. You know, someone someone just seeing this for the first time might think that I have no idea what I'm doing. And in some ways, they'd be right. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with Takiyama here. match in on the count out it's the finals of a tournament in Japan that's not how they do things yeah big stalling that's another move I do I'm telling you that you see the the influence leech into your work not enough for the cover on that one me with a bit of a trouble in paradise there. This is set. Oh, I think he's set. I think I can get him. Well, apparently when he has especially just a top rope leg drop and just breaks himself. My goal here is burning Lariat top rope moonsault, but I don't know. It might... It might not work for us. Ah, oh, give him the old boss man when in doubt. Boss man and Kobashi had some good work together. Uh, not far, you know, just a, a couple years earlier than this. You can look that up. Uh, that's pretty cool to see. Boss man was a workhorse over in Japan. Uh, is this the pin? Yeah, that could be it. Oh, two count. This deep in the match, this is the finals of a tournament. Paul Nelson suplex. Man, Kobashi breaking out all the classics here. Oh, went for the power bomb reverse. You could have covered me there. That could have been it. Yep. Backdrop driver, a move that I've been known to break out every every now and again. All right, Hayabusa. All right. Starting to come back on me now. I gotta stop toying with him. So let's mess with Takiyama a bit, huh? 
Got that, that Owen Hart kick there. They love those hard whips to the rail in Japan. doing it. This has got to be the go home. Give him a couple lariats here. Keep him right in the corner. As soon as the lariats are worn off, get up for that moonsault. Yeah, there we go. One more. See if I'm fast enough. Oh no! Oh no! I blew it! Oof, I'm feeling it too. Yikes. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do total sacrilege, I think, to Japan. I'm gonna beat him on a count out here. Just gonna put him outside and beat him till he can't come back. I think he heard me. He's mad now. He's fighting back. The game's putting up a little bit of a fight here. There we go. Big old power slam. Alright, I've about had it with you. Half and half. Just about knocked him out there. Oh, a clover leaf. Oh, come on. That's a rope break, right? Yeah. See if I can just dump him out. Yeah, there he goes. Oof. Knee drop to the outside, that's rough. Hey, come back here. Almost had him. Oh, you punk. Oh, you think you're funny? Trying the tiger faint kick over here? Or as some would call it, the 619. Think you're funny? Show you funny. Big DDT. Maybe that's the setup. Maybe that's it. Oh no, he got the knees up. I gotta, I gotta take this home soon. We're gonna come up on a, on a. Oh, how you like that? One for Uncle Sid. up and chop him right back down. I'm going to start doing this in the middle of matches. Just ah. Let's get him as close to the corner as we can and then I can just hit like two of these and then go for that moonsault. I think he's set. I think he's set. I think this could be it. Mm. Rope break. Terrible positioning. Rookie mistake, Kobashi. All right, that's that. I'm just taking him out. I'm gonna just hit him with big moves after big moves until I find one that goes into a pin.
or he ends up knocked out because I hit him with something too big. Fifteen has elapsed. That's a long match, you guys. That's a long match. Maybe this is it. Oh, the knees again. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's taking after me. He's just taunting. All right, here we go. Okay, that's the setup. That's the one. That's it. That's it. We're going home. That's the finish I wanted. Let's see if both moves end up in the replay. That would be spectacular. Just the moonsault. Still, oh, look at this angle. So good. Beautiful replays. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see if we get some like big like I won Kobashi. Perfect victory. The opponent didn't even come close. Oh, we get a post uh, post tournament thing here. Love that. That's so great. So, so simple. All right, let's see what some of this other stuff is. So that's tournament. What's Royal Road Secession? Oh, this is like a, like King of the Ring, I think. All right, we're going to, we're going to go back if I could. Yeah, there we go. League, I believe is sort of like the tag league, if I recall correctly. Pay-per-view. Do I really put together a whole show? Is that what's going on there? Wow. Yeah, it is. All right. It's been a while since I played the WWF equivalent of this uh, WrestleMania 2000 as well. All right. Let's go into. Uh, yeah. Let's let's get us a singles match. We've seen Korokin. We've seen Tokyo Dome. Uh, we can do the Budokan, and then we got to do we got to do one at Kawasaki Stadium before all is said and done. All right, this time, this time I'm headed into the Gaijins here. I'm, I gotta play as Vader. Gotta be Big Van Vader at least once, because it's time. It's time. It's Vader time. You know what? Let's go ahead and let's relive a, a classic. Let's put him in there with Hanson. If you've ever seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got 20 count on the ring. Let's see, format is. I wonder what other, okay, wrestling or shoot wrestling. That's right, there's shoot wrestling style matches in here. Submission, sure. Oh, bloodshed? <laughs> I should say so. Hanson and Vader, are you kidding me? Come on, of course. All right, no no knockout. Pin's good. Let's, uh, yeah, we can have some interference if we want. Why not? All right, let's make this happen. Classic match. Classic. All right, let's get these entrances going. Look at that gear, listen to that music.
That was so sick. I'm a little bummed that Vader just gets the generic music, but it doesn't actually sound that different from like his WWF theme. So I guess it's a it's making he's making the Mentai Kid face. E. E. Again, if you know, you know. If you haven't seen Kyushu Pro Wrestling, go ahead and look them up and watch some of their stuff. They have some incredible talent. Ah, oh, so cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, so awesome. Now let's do this the way they would do it. Let's immediately go outside. Oh, Vader can't even climb the ropes in this. That's interesting. Oh, super heavyweight match here. Big brawlers, come on out. Come on out, tough guy. Okay. The side of the head wax. I gave some of those to Johnny Pierce at NCW this past weekend. And uh, this coming weekend, I'll be uh, I'll be up in Maine at MPW. Uh, I believe they have announced publicly now. Uh, I am in the main event for the MPW Championship against Blade Bandit. That'll be something. They're crowning their first ever champion, and uh, and I got a 50% chance of being that champion. So we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? I might be streaming with a championship belt next week. Vader's got a big head. I guess Hanson does too. They both have big heads. Watching the moves that these guys do, this really doesn't read too different from their actual matches. It's just a lot of hitting and then very like the occasional simple slam. Yeah. <laughs> it's brutal, but it's simple. Man, they made Hansen hard to beat, and that makes sense. He was a, a hell of a competitor in Japan, one of the more protected uh, wrestlers, and certainly the most protected finish. I mean, uh, the Lariat and maybe the Burning Hammer are probably the two most protected finishes in the history of Japan. I can join you out here, Stan. Yeah, this is exactly how their matches went. Spinner math promo. Yeah, uh, well, you know, I just meant uh, there's really only two outcomes in that match. I either win or I lose. All right. Let's both get back in. Come on. Come on, Stan. Oh, he's going for a weapon. Okay. That maniac. This really is just like a Hanson Invader match. They're going for weapons. They're fighting on the outside. It's just mostly a lot of random hitting. <laughs> the, the big difference here is that Vader's eye is still in socket. So it's not quite a Hanson Vader match. Again, Vader, another another big favorite of mine, and you see a lot of uh, a lot of what he does in my uh, in my work as well. Yeah, the the Vader splash in the corner, a commonly used move from PVV. 
I've even been known to hit a full Nelson Slam every now and again. Now, I notice I can't descend the ropes. I wonder if that's going to change when he has a special, because the Vader Bomb and the, uh, the, the Vader Salt. Big Power Bomb. Classic Vader. Who's the man? Who's the man? Wait, did he say something? He did. I wanna I gotta I gotta taunt again so I can hear what he said. He definitely said something. I can't tell what. That's such a Vader power bomb. Oh, you can go up, yeah! Power bomb and a Vader salt. Finally, I finished one of these matches the way it ought to go. Let's go. Let's see that replay. Get him, Leon. Hell yeah. Oh, so cool. All right. A win with plenty of time to spare. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, what, what can I say? I wasn't messing around. I'm going to check this Royal Road Secession and see exactly what happens. Oh, I get a partner. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, well, let's see. I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to hop over to FMW here. I think I'm going to play as Mike Awesome, but I'm going to do him with the face paint. Properly, the gladiator. And what's Tenru look like at this point? Do they have any outfits that look like distinctly Tenru? Man, what is with the, the looks of the characters in this game? They really like, they took a step backwards from the WCW ones. I, I love Tenru, but it doesn't look enough like him to feel right. Let's see, who, who do I team Mike Awesome up with? I feel like he should be with another Gaijin, but maybe I just put him with any big man. You know what? Mike Awesome Invader sounds pretty good. We'll do Vader No Mask, because that's crazy looking. Gladiator Cork, okay. Sure. Yeah, wow, a lot of lot of stats to know here. This looks like a complicated this is some Steiner math. Outstanding. All right. So I'm not going to watch any of the others. We'll catch up with them later and see what's going on. So there's singles, there's tags. They got whole events that we got to sit through. So we got, all right, we got Mike Awesome versus Johnny Ace. Oh, I can't wait to put a beating on him. And what else is on this show? Wow, what a lineup. Oh, Akiyama Vader in the main event. Woo, that's a lot of show. I'm not going to change any of the rules here. I'm just going to just going to hop right in. Let it happen however the game thinks it should. It's very likely I won't play through the whole series, but I did want to get a few matches in here. Ugh. We are skipping Johnny Ace's entrance because he's a terrible person. He doesn't deserve an entrance. He's a terrible wrestler and a terrible person. Mike Awesome I've not heard anything about him being a terrible person, but he's a damn good wrestler, so. We're gonna skip the intros because I don't care to hear Johnny Ace's name. Ooh, Goldberg Spear from the Gladiator. Love that. Just boots until he's 
boots all day. Yeah, boy, I'm liking I'm liking Mike Awesome in this game. Real nice to play as. Ooh, picked me right out of a spear. It's gonna take more than that. Ooh, big shoulder breaker. Come on, get up. Always remember, the wrong Laurinaitis brother is dead. Yeah, I got I got nothing nice to say about Johnny Ace. I'm sorry. The only the only good thing Johnny Ace ever did was annoy Rip Bison anytime his name is brought up. And even that, I feel the same way. So it's hard to be that excited about it. Ooh, wow. Really, uh... An awesome bomb on the floor. Yeah, baby. Let's get him inside, see if we can get him in quick enough to... And not quick enough. Because you know I want to finish him with the awesome bomb. Ooh. Slapped me right out of the air, that punk. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the big Mike Awesome splash. Yep. I'll go home with that. That's a great move to go home with. Because, man, if you ever saw him do it, it was something else. Do, 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 do. All right. We all saw it in real time. Two and a half minute match. I don't think we need the replay. Not exactly a, a Meltzer five star classic. All right. Hanson and Albright versus Kawada and Tawe. This is a lot of show going on here at Corrigan. My money's on Hanson and Albright. Oh, picked wrong. Mike Barton, Hayabusa. I'm, I'm with Hayabusa over freaking Bart Gun, right? Oh, Time wow, they time limit draw. Masawa and Ogawa versus Takiyama and Omori. Well, Masawa Ogawa for sure. Whoa, Takiyama pulling it out. And Jun Akiyama versus Vader. My money's on Vader. I'm just picking everything wrong here. And that is a okay. Alright. Moving on to the next event. Skipping some of the prelim matches because I don't much care about those. Oh, Takiyama Kamala. Gotta be Takiyama, right? No, Kamala. Man, I gotta stop guessing. I'm, I'm jinxing everybody. Kawada Tawe versus Misawa and Ogawa. Probably Tawe and Kawada, right? Nope. I, I really can't guess them right. All right. I'm taking on Omori here. Let's do it. Let's see if we can't send him home with an awesome bomb the way it's meant to happen. Big spear. Ooh, the big choke lift, all right. That body drop, you know how to take one, don't you? If you've ever seen Kayfabe the movie, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Any wrestler who sees it, they all sort of have the same reaction where it's not, they don't fall in love immediately, but uh, on the second watch or upon quoting with the guys, it becomes an all time favorite. It's so relatable. But after this match, I'm going to call it. So we better make it count.
Big shoulder breaker. Oh, we're there. All right, that's one awesome bomb. I'm gonna hit two, see if we take it home with that. That'll put us just about where we wanna be in the ring too. Maybe I'll take it home with the splash, because apparently I'm blanking on the cover button. Yep, well, I guess we're not taking it home with any of those. short work of this guy. Oof, got the, that's not where you want the knees to come up. Yikes. Big yikes. Release Tiger Driver on the floor. Just a hair early on that one. Oh, is that right? You're signaling for a big move, huh? Like you're gonna hit me with your arm. All right, well, I have a feeling you're not gonna do nothing. There it is. All right, I'm gonna let his replay play while I do my little outro here. Thank you all for tuning in to the stream. Hope you had fun with Virtual Pro Wrestling too. I know I did. Uh, classic uh, late 90s Japanese wrestling put on the same engine as all the great THQ AKI wrestling games. So much fun. Uh, you've been seeing my dates scroll by on the side here. That's where you can see me. You can uh, hop online, grab some merch, uh, shoot me a message on the socials. I'm, uh, I'm here every, uh, every Tuesday, 9 p.m., so I will be back again next week. Not sure what I'm streaming just yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out and we'll have a lot of fun. Thank you all for tuning in. I will catch you later.